Hey everybody, it's Silver Shroom, and welcome back to the Blender Solar System. Last time, we took a look at planet Mercury, and now it's time to move on to... Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun, and, due to its similarity in size to Earth, is often referred to as Earth's sister planet, but, in actuality, they are two very different worlds. Venus is the third brightest object as seen from Earth after the Sun and Moon, and because of its brightness, it was named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, who is known to the Greeks as Aphrodite. Your usual adjective for Venus is Venusian, though you might rarely see Venerian or Cytherean. So like Mercury, Venus is a terrestrial or rocky planet. It has a diameter of just over 12,000 kilometers, making it just slightly smaller than Earth. Now, Venus is covered by a very thick atmosphere which completely obscures its surface. This atmosphere creates extreme pressure on its surface enough to crush a human being alive, and it also creates a runaway greenhouse effect, trapping heat and making it the hottest planet in the solar system, even though Mercury is closer to the sun. Now if we go over here and remove Venus's atmosphere, we can see it's got a nice orange surface. It has very few craters because of its atmosphere destroying many asteroids. But it does have a lot of volcanoes, which, based on recent data, may actually be active. Now, Venus rotates on its axis once every 243 Earth days. However, one of the most interesting things about Venus is that its axial tilt is typically listed at almost 180 degrees. This would be upside down, and that is because Venus rotates backwards compared to the other planets. While well, most orbit and rotate counterclockwise, as seen from the north, Venus does orbit in that same direction, but it rotates clockwise, as seen from above. This makes it so, if you were to stand on Venus, the sun would rise in the west and set in the east. Not that you could even see the sun from Venus's surface, thanks to all those clouds. Also, with the small axial tilt from that 180 and that greenhouse effect, Venus doesn't really have any seasonal variation. Now, Venus orbits the Sun in just under 225 days, which is actually shorter than its rotation period. However, because of its retrograde rotation, another word for backwards in this context, a solar day on Venus is quite a bit shorter than its actual rotation period, at just under 117 days, or just over half of its year. But then again, it doesn't really matter since you can see the sun from Venus's surface. So, a quick view of Venus's rotation. And now, with all that out of the way, let's move on to Venus's orbit. A 
Okay, so back in the solar system, I have added in Venus's orbit. And here you can see it orbiting along with Mercury. Obviously, orbit's considerably slower since it's almost twice as far out. As I said, Venus orbits the Sun in about 225 days. And while Mercury has the most elliptical orbit of any planet, Venus's orbit is actually the closest to circular. Its distance from the Sun hardly varies at all. It's almost always around 180 million kilometers away which is about 0.7 astronomical units, or 70% of the distance between the Sun and the Earth. So, that's Venus. Next time on our Blender Solar System, we're going to move on to the next planet. See you then.